So I finally got around to cleaning the sensor on my mono camera and I've got it back attached to my telescope. I've got a clear night forecast ahead of me. So tonight I'm gonna to go after a really tricky target, the flying bat and squid nebula. Okay, so I've set up, I've slewed my target and I'm collecting data and it's only 6.30 at night. So one of the benefits of the winter in the UK, it does get dark nice and early. So I should have a full night. There's some clouds due to come in around one o'clock, um, but according to all the radars and the weather forecasts, they shouldn't last too long. So hopefully I can get a full night's worth of data. Now I'm going after a really interesting target tonight, the flying bat or the giant squid nebula. Um, and this is almost two targets in one. So you have the outer ring, um, which is made up of all of the hydrogen gas. Um, and then inside you have this bright blue, or it will be bright blue in my image, um, squid, which is made up of all the oxygen. And from everything I've heard and all of the images that I've seen, the oxygen is really hard to, to, to bring out. So you do need a lot of data on the oxygen filter. So I'm gonna try and collect as much oxygen as I can, probably double the amount of oxygen to the hydrogen in this image. I'm going after the HOO palette, so I'm not gonna collect any sulfur on this image because I don't think it's necessary. Um, but tonight I'm gonna go full night of um, oxygen and then next clear night, I think I'll go half the night of oxygen and then the other half of hydrogen as well. So I'll see whether that's enough to bring out that um, amazing squid in the in the nebula. So I'm shooting seven minute sub exposures. I've got the camera cooled to minus 20 degrees and it is actually really cold tonight. So there shouldn't be an issue maintaining that temperature. Um, I've got the gain set at 100. I'm just gonna collect as much data as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let this run overnight and then see how much I've got in the morning. So that first exposure, that first seven minute sub has rolled in on the oxygen filter and as I expected I can barely see or I can't see any nebulosity. So I just have to uh, trust that it's in that image. Um, I'm sure it is. I'm sure once I stack them all together I'll be able to pull something out but at the moment it just looks like a field of stars. So bit nervous but hopefully I'll be able to pull out that detail in post-processing. So it's night two of going after the O3 data and last night I managed to capture about five and a half or six hours worth of O3. Now that's not as much as I had hoped um, and I think that that's down to user error. So I had the EAF set to autofocus every two hours um, and that was absolutely fine throughout the summer and the last few months of shooting I had no issues refocusing every two hours. But I think now as it's getting colder and as there are more dramatic drops in temperature, the, that two hour time frame is, isn't good enough. So I found that going through the subs after about an hour and a half or so, um, the, the stars just ended up getting more bloated. So I did have to bin quite a few of those, which was a bit of a shame. So tonight I'm gonna to set it to refocus every hour. Um, I stacked those those six hours or five and a half hours um, just to make sure that I was actually shooting in the right area because in the single exposures with the O3 filter I could see nothing so um, even when with my test exposures using the HA filter I couldn't see any of the squid nebula itself so I wanted to stack that data to just make sure that um, I was actually photographing the, the giant squid nebula and I'm pleased to say that um, I can see the squid in this image um, so I'll put that up on screen so you can see it now but just with five and a half hours of data I can just make out the outline of that squid so that's great um, so yeah I'm going to go after it again tonight it's a little bit cloudy at the moment but those clouds are due to to clear it in about half an hour or an hour and then hopefully I can get a few more hours to, to add to this. Um, I'm just going to go after the O3 because I do think that this target is very dependent on the O3 so I'm going to go a whole night again O3 and then 
hopefully the rest of the week I can capture some HA data to add to it. So I'll jump back into the computer once I've got all the data and show you what I've captured. So unfortunately, due to the terrible weather we've been having in the UK, I haven't been able to finish off this image in time to, to release this video. So I haven't been able to get out in the garden an image for about two and a half weeks now. And the next week's forecast as well looks absolutely horrendous. So I'm not going to be outside anytime soon. So I just thought I'd very quickly show you what I have managed to capture. So luckily I did get two clear nights or one and a half clear nights um, where I was able to get some O3 data and I did stack that and this is what it looks like. So this is 104 seven minute sub exposures. So about 12 hours on the O3 filter. So I just wanted to show you that and, um, and basically see whether you think that this is enough data for this target. Um, so it is still quite faint for 12 hours, um, but you are starting to see a little bit of detail in, in the nebula itself, um, which I was worried about because I couldn't see anything in the single exposures. Um, so this is 12 hours. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Do you think I need any more data? Um, I'm probably going to add a little bit to it, um, but I also need to collect the HA as well. Um, as you can see, there's uh, some haloing in the image so on the bright stars. There's some haloing in this uh, center star, which could be a little bit problematic when it comes to editing. Um, these ones around the edge, these bright stars around the edge, um, I could probably just crop those out. Um, but this one here might cause me a few issues. Um, so if you've got any techniques to... to get rid of the haloing in the images please do let me know that's kind of all i've got to to share with you uh this week um thank you very much for watching please hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want more content like this um, and hopefully in the next video i'll be able to share the final image with you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one